hello hello good afternoon um so i'm not gonna do the intro today i'm not really feeling it i'm gonna be real um so I, before i start this i want to go in and i want to say that mondays are going to be mental diet updates okay and the therapies uh when i talk about therapy and what i learned and what i did in therapy those will be those days so i have an upcoming therapy session i believe it is this friday at around two o'clock so most likely two or three so most likely i will post after that and i'll let you guys know the therapy session update and um i put it in my chapter growth so i just decided to just keep that as chapter growth and that's part of my uh, growing period so today i'm just going to give you guys an update on my mental dieting i want to say that i'm not in the best of moods um sometimes i have my good days sometimes i have my bad days um, however, um, I do want to say that I'm still affirming, okay, um, you know, still affirming the new reality and stuff like that, so that's what I'm doing right now, I'm still affirming, um, yesterday was a rest day, it wasn't really my best day yesterday, I still listened to my, uh, goddess meditation, I may listen to that again today, okay, um, I do want to say this, that when it's been so long for when you have so many negative thoughts, a lot of people say it isn't really hard to change your thoughts but it honestly does depend um, the reason I only say that is because I can say no it's not hard you can change your thoughts over time yeah but at the same time the process okay and just like change is a process it's not um, a destination um, the only reason I say that is because change shouldn't be oh I've changed this is my destination no it's a process and when you're undergoing change and when you're, you know, redirecting yourself in a new direction and stuff like that. Sorry, I am ashy. When you're redirecting yourself in a new direction and you're looking at things from a new perspective, the brain, it responds in a very different way. And, well, the body responds in a very different way as well because the body may be wanting to do other things because the body isn't really aligned with the, um, with what you're doing, okay, with the mental state of mind. It's not aligned with it. It's consciously aware, but at the same time, for example, if you want to read a book, but you know that you don't read often, and the body may be wanting you to do something else. Oh, let's watch television or something like that. It's like the mind and the body, they say, doesn't go together, but they're supposed to coexist together to be one. Okay, not two, but just one. So it's very important, okay? So, um far as my mental diet update i can say that who i leveled i uh brought my i didn't change my manifestation uh manifestation my affirmations okay i have still i still say these okay i still say these the paper's old i still say these but at the same time okay um at the same exact time i still say i am a master at manifesting to just narrow it down because that's one of them i am a master at manifesting so i could say that uh mentally things have been they've been okay okay so they've been all right i've had my ups and my downs i've had moments you know i'm still undergoing a change of not letting certain things get to me i'm getting a little bit better at expressing myself far as um when it comes to something getting straight to the point okay um and but but mentally mentally let's stay on the mental side mentally um i will say that i have these talks with myself uh so the conversations that i'm having with myself within is uh, you need to get your shit together and that's just what it is um so i'm still affirming i affirm all day i affirm every day um i haven't seen any results yet so i'm going to think i'm going to i'm not going to assume that it's not working but i'm going to just say that uh as of right now uh how they would say ignore your reality no i don't believe you should ignore it um i believe that you should just acknowledge it's there but at the same time just you know keep affirming the new reality so even although i'm seeing you know the 3d is showing the opposite i'm still in my mind imagining 
uh, the new reality that I want to be in because I'm very tired, not of just not having what I want, but, you know, wanting a shift of reality, wanting change, um, wanting to be and just feel better about life, okay? So although I may be feeling a certain type of way mentally, I'm still disciplining myself um, and, I'm, and I've actually became a lot more stricter on my mental dieting. So there's not a time where sometimes I would take breaks. Now it's I'm not taking breaks and I feel like um, uh, at this point it's more of a I'm affirming more than ever, okay? And I'm really taking the time to go within and affirm um, certain things I'm not watching. Like I watch a couple of shows every, you know, on Netflix just to relax and stuff like that. But I've increased this and today I've upped it a notch because I've been very tired when I... When I exercise, honestly, when I was exercising for like an hour, um, when I was first doing it, I would get very tired and throughout that time, I would go back to sleep and then I would wake up, I would take a shower and stuff like that, and I would still feel very sleepy. So after I exercise, I would feel very sleepy. And I wouldn't end up doing videos probably until later on because I just wanna, re I just wanna relax. But now that I'm putting out two contents, okay, I'm going to probably level that down too. like one day it'll be one content pertaining to a specific thing and then two contents because I want to make sure I have a schedule for this so I am um, organized, okay? So I decided to up it a notch and I decided to have a dictionary to learn new words to um, and enhance my, um, my skills on um, not only just memorization, yes, to understand, but also my, uh, my speech is very important to me. So now I have the dictionary to write down new words, okay? And um, to, ooh, this is backwards. <laughs> this is backwards. I just really, oh my God, look at that. That's actually backwards. I Now we have to change the cover on that. We'll change that later. But just looking in, it's always good to uh, learn specifically what these words actually mean instead of using them because there's certain words that I don't really know about that I have to understand okay so that's important so I do want to say that overall that is what I'm doing now so I'm gonna be studying more uh, words and who knows on certain days I will probably uh, throw in like pick a certain word and then use it in a sentence and then I can probably uh, you know give this to you guys of how we can apply this in our everyday lives so I'm gonna up things a notch but like I said I want to do things differently I want to be organized so I want to update you on the mental dieting and say that everything is going pretty smoothly um, I'm still going to stay within what my reality is I will say that I have been seeing the angel numbers of 11 11 12 22 I've seen 12 12 I've been reading on that and I want to let you know that I'm not a spiritual advisor and I'm not a spiritual uh, expert so I am very I'm barely stepping into the journey of spirituality and understanding it so I do believe in the angel numbers I do um, know uh, uh, as far as astrology I do not study that I've said that before in numerology but I'm learning more about myself because I want to learn more about me anyway okay and it starts with me understanding who I am and the thought process and I'm diving deep into my subconscious I will say that I have been having a lot of bad dreams so I'm hoping to change those bad dreams because um, I don't like that and I honestly believe that dreams negative uh, like bad dreams are an interpretation of our fears subconsciously so I'm working on a lot of stuff and like I said I'm trying to be more of a humble being okay so every time I put out content I want you guys to understand that I am not a person who is perfect uh, I have not started to I know you might say why do you you know put out you know like personal development and stuff because those things are real everything that I'm telling you is what I'm doing every day this is not something I'm just like oh let me tell the rest of the world and I'm not working on Alize that's kind of stupid um, so as I'm evolving I want the same thing as well and things change people change things change that's how it is we're evolving every day so I don't care what anyone says your opinion is your opinion um, so there's a lot of things so like I said I'm still reading this book I'm gonna I'm reading this book over again okay emotional advantage so I've just upped up the game a notch um, 
guys okay like I said I'll show you my exercises not right now because I exercise and my back still hurts so uh, I'm, I'll, I'll probably just most likely when I do my physical therapy I'll see if I can have my camera and I could just forget record me doing my physical therapy to show you guys what I'm doing and because I want you in my life to know what is Alizé doing to grow okay so this is what I'm doing now doing this and also um, I listened to the goddess queen meditation by Kim Belez okay uh, also you can um, follow me on my Instagram is alizé.mills.1 um, you can also listen to my podcast I'm going to upload most likely probably tonight my podcast is legacy podcast on anchor okay you can see you can hear me on spotify and radio uh there's there's something else that they put me on as well actually i'm about to go to that you can hear me on spotify and other i believe uh other places as well hold on give me just oh radio public it's now available on radio public so you can hear me there okay and um i just talk about increasing our level of consciousness because it's important so i'm still studying the conscious the conscious state of mind okay and how we should increase it so I talk about not just only affirmations but change and I talk about what change means to me and journey of change and the journey of change what means to me is you know how uh, Zig Ziglar's quote is success is not a destination but it is a journey I decided to say that change is the same thing um, but apply it to that because it's not some place that you get to but it's a process Okay, the most important thing is it's the process that actually helps you, the experiences that you face and the things that we undergo in this life to become the better beings that we would like to become, okay? So as you can see, there we are. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, hold on. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. That is so weird. Oh, oh, okay. I can't, I can't really hold that too close. Let me see something real quick. Dim the light. Ah, there we are. There we are. So hopefully you guys can read that. Sorry. So hopefully you guys can read that so you can hear my podcast. I just started my podcast. I was uh, very nervous. I get nervous sometimes. <sighs> and it's, it's, it's very, yeah. <laughs> so, and also I will be showing you guys things where uh, we go to to travel I do like to, uh, I'm going to share more, get more of an interest of crystals, okay? Uh, I do have my organite. So, like I said in my last video, I have my organite, okay? And um, I really don't use this as much. It's just here, honestly. I had a, a gate. I don't know where it's at. I can't find her. It's a she. I, I, her, name, her, name is, um, her name is Blue Ocean don't ask why um so those are the things also what keeps me going i showed this in my last is mind over matter i might actually talk about this in my pod, my podcast so like i said as i'm going through this this is what's happening so i'm letting you guys know what i'm doing also let me know uh what share with me some type of books i know that in the future this channel you know this this channel will grow and I know you know it'll be nice for people to share with me the kind of books that I should read on if it's self-help uh, any motivational but any books that's very interesting or any topics to talk about okay feel free and also um, you can follow me on my Facebook Alize Mills and my Twitter is Alize underscore Mills okay a L I Z E underscore M I L L S. It is not M E A L S. Absolutely not. You know, General Mills. Yes, M I L L S. Thank you. So, um, yeah. So, you know, and also I will probably have a, a day where we just have a personal blog and I could be going out with my family and, you know, I could record us. We're going out to the store. Or we're doing stuff you know stuff like that getting more out there into adventurous things uh you know not just the store is not an adventure but i'm saying far as like you know when we experience experience new things and stuff like that so i just wanted to give you guys the mental update so the mental update for today everything is going pretty um okay i'm affirming more um so there are no days off but i'm gonna 
I'm filling my head up with more knowledge. Like I said, um, I do sleep throughout the day only because when I exercise, like I said, I get tired when I exercise, okay? So today was just me giving you guys just like a mental update slash update of what's going to be coming, the new things that are going to be coming and things I'm going to be implementing. So it's going to be me doing a lot of work and putting in a lot of work. So I have to make a whole list, most likely probably tonight, um, make the list and I will show you guys what I'm doing and I'll probably break down each video that I'll have. I'll do one content, two contents, whatever the case may be, how I'm going to do this because I want to organize this. Okay, so that's my whole thing. So um, with that being said, I just want to say that I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, cold water is so amazing the sink water out here where I live amazing I know what you're thinking you can't drink sink water uh -uh. probably not in south central where you stay at but other places yes okay so, um, if you heard anything in the background, that's my godmother yelling, okay? But, um, like I said, so that's what I'm going to be doing, guys. And if you have any questions on your mental dieting update, um, mental, like your mental diet, or I would say I would advise you just to keep going and that results will come. They will come eventually. Um, okay, um, I know that we, there's always still some work to work on, okay? And also, uh, if anyone knows... Uh, like I said, uh, <laughs> far as bad dreams and how to get rid of them, please let me know. Because <laughs> I, I, I used to have nightmares of being drowning in the ocean, but that meant that I was just drowning in my emotions. All right, so um, I just want to let you guys know that was the update for today. I might just post one video for mental update and two for tomorrow. So I'm going to see how I'm going to construct this. So this is going to be new things that I'm changing. I want to say that when I put that last video out, that was already a change and an adjustment in what I'm going to be doing, and I want to bring more to the table. So that's my whole thing. So like I said, I'm still doing my affirmations, um, and you will see me exercising. Like I said, you will see those things, but not right now. Um, I'm having a bit of a back problem. Uh, so like I said, I have to go back to my doctor and hopefully they'll let me record my physical therapy they should be able to because you know they should be able to so hopefully i'll just have the camera right there you know seeing me doing the exercises all right so um that's i just wanted to give you the the uh what's going on so i'm increasing it i'm stricting i'm being very strict about my mental diet it's very important to me um i know i said that your thoughts do affect your feelings and your emotions but at the same time, you have to separate your emotions from your thoughts. Like, for example, this morning, I didn't want to get up and I didn't want to exercise. And it was just for 30 minutes and I didn't want to exercise. I said, no, I'm sleepy. But then my mind told me, hell no, nah, you better do it. So I did it. It was more, it was discipline because I'm disciplining myself and I'm getting myself back into it. Even though my back hurts, I'm still doing it because I want to see if the pain is going to be that bad or if it's just me just exercising the, the parts that I am, okay? So I'm only doing 30 minutes in because I'm building back my momentum. And that's just what I'm doing. So uh, my whole thing is, is the mind, like they say, mind over matter. The mind is very powerful and it's a powerful tool. That's why they say, do not waste it. I wish to not leave this earth wasting my mind and wasting my, you know, ma wasting my abilities. So I wanna let you know that um, we're gonna all grow uh, on this channel and you guys are gonna see a lot of changes within me. You're gonna see changes within yourself. And I hope that um, I am able to help you guys. I cannot solve your problems. You can't solve mine. Nobody can solve our problems. The only thing that we can do is solve our own problems by figuring out what is the problem. And nine times out of 10, the problem is us. So I would say, just do that. You know, sometimes we get upset. Sometimes there's gonna be moments where we react. And it's okay to re react emotionally. Stop making people think that you can't react emotionally just because, oh, your manifestation's not going to come. That's such a lie. Don't let these people tell you and fool you just so they could get money out of you. No, don't do that. Actually understand and know that what you have is coming. And, you know, I still have these thoughts like those, like there's, there's thoughts that I'm telling myself, like, no, it's coming. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I stress a lot because it's not just because, oh, 
I just want to be rich. That's not what it is. It's like when you really want things to change, you get tired. So if you're someone out there that's tired, just remember that mind over matter. And remember this, mind over matter. Because your circumstances do not matter. The only thing that matters is your mindset and how you're going to condition it. So, you know, there's some days where we don't want to do certain things, but we have to get them done. And this is very true. And there's certain times where I'm like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to affirm. I don't want <laughs> So I decided to up it up a notch, all right? So, um, like I said, today might be just one. Um, I did say that Saturdays was going to be one and I was going to drop content. But like I said, um, I know it's going to be, I, w I really want to let you guys know that when I am changing things, because I want to be consistent with this, okay? So, uh, I'm going to, like I said before, I'm organizing on what I want to happen, okay? What I want to put out there, okay? And what the, the new changes for myself because sometimes I need time to go within Alize. okay that's just what it is so like I said I'm going to lay out a list like a, a specific uh you know a schedule of what I want and what's going to change and how we're going to stick to that specific change okay because I said Sundays is not that's different Sundays is my rest day that's just what it is Sundays no Saturdays you know what I'm saying I'm going to see whether I want to do two contents Monday through Friday or, you know, because then I'll, I don't want to just be putting out stuff just to put out there. I really want to break stuff down and go back into personal development, see anything that I missed, stuff like that. So I'm not just going to be doing willy nilly stuff. So I just wanted to give y'all a mental update and an update on what's going to change in this channel and how we going to make it happen, baby. So. Um, I hope y'all are having an amazing day. Uh, continue to have an amazing day. And like I said, continue to affirm. You know what I'm saying? So A to the L to the I to the Z to the E. And you just got your daily dose of legendary Z. And uh, yeah, we out.